Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela, I'm a crazy poppy lady and welcome back to today's book review. Now this one is for baby booties and slippers. There are 30 designs to knit, stitch, knit and crochet. It's by Susie Johns. So you got a little one coming into the family soon? This is definitely worth a watch. Come on, let's see what's inside. Okay, so uh, let's sneak into this very first page and have a look. Now remember, these are not just crocheted, okay? There is, as I said, there's 30 designs to stitch, knit and crochet. So uh, let's have a look. This book was first published in 2013 by Guild of Master Craftsmen Publish Publications Limited which is uh, based in the UK. Okay, so here is a um, drawing of each of the patterns. I wonder what they're actually going to look like when we get to them. All right, I'm not going to worry about reading through which e what each of them are. We're going to clearly be able to see that in a few minutes once we get to them. Now, the first section of this book is the projects and then the second part is the techniques. So it's each talking about sewing machines, knitting, uh, sewing techniques, knitting techniques, crochet techniques, add on soles, size chart, abbreviation, conversions about the author, acknowledgements and of course the index. So let's just turn us straight into this and see what these turn into. <laughs> okay, we have... Um, to start off with the introduction and a safety note, it's an important thing to note that these are baby booties and slippers. They are meant to be worn in the pram when crawling around on the floor or snuggling on the sofa, on the sofa for a bedtime story. They are not designed for walking in. The addition of a non-slip soles, as described on one on page 152, will add a bit of grip to the slippers for older babies who are starting to find their feet but will not make them safe for walking. Always use your common sense. Does Will you be packing some common sense in with the, with the items you make? Okay, sorry, I'm in a very, a very cheeky mood tonight. Okay, so the first one-ups are heart felt. And for this one, you need felt. And always make sure, of course, that you check that you, the dye doesn't run in the felt that you're going to use. Otherwise, you will stain those gorgeously little feet. OK, but it explains here how to make, how to cut it, the shapes to cut it, how to sew it, where to pin it and all of that. OK, next up, we have got rabbit ears. These are knitted. Hold on, a pair of. Yeah, these ones are knitted. Quite sweet and again it shows you everything you need oh <laughs> cowboy boots and they're crocheted yeah sorry i'm just having to read through quickly and then, 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 then yeah crochet hook now they are quite sweet in a weird and wonderful way but the coloring's off for cowboy boots Right, next up is a rainbow a patchwork. These are made with scraps of 100% cotton and dress weight fabric in various prints. Okay, so you'd need your sewing needles to hand for that one, or of course your sewing machine. Then we have a cute little pair of Daisy Janes, and these are also crocheted. 
and I, I don't know if you can pick that up but the bottom of these actually have a shop bought sole attached to them which isn't a bad idea for little Mary Janes oh. then we have some simple shoes these of course are also crocheted and they also show you how to do them or talk you through how to do them in all different sizes these again gingham checks are made with 100% cotton and dress weight fabric and it gives you the size of the amount of fabric that you would need as well and then shows you all the different shaping elfin boots oh elfin nora these are knitted i was hoping these ones would be crocheted but they're the little elfin boots Then we got little duckling ducklings. These are also knitted. Okay. These are quite sweet. Cozy uh, slippers. These are a piece. You need a piece of wool or wool, wool viscose felt. Um, possibly in grey. But then you choose your own colours, can't you? Princess jewels. This is another sewn pattern using fabrics the lacy sandals these ones are crocheted they look very good for well they look very diddy for newborns then we have ballet slippers that are knitted we've got puppy dogs that are sewn the uh, strappy sandals are crocheted and then we've got some crossover pumps these ones are knitted number 17 is seaside stripes and uh, these ones are sewn 18 <laughs> oh they're cute uh, these are crocheted and they are watermelon slices oh you can't tell me they're not cute okay and number 19 is crocheted as well these are the button boots number 20 is a baseball boots and these are also crocheted Number 21, these guys are frog face and they are knitted. I'm sure you could adapt one of the earlier patterns for them. And to be honest, I would not be putting these eyes anywhere near a baby. Doesn't matter how strong the glue is that you've used. Just, just hand sew some eyes on. <laughs> then we have some ladybird slippers. Now these ones are also are crocheted that confuses me because that look oh no they're not they are knitted but you are going to need a crochet hook that'll be for the little round bits that's what confused me the inuit boots and these ones are sewn oh my word <laughs> my husband would go he he would go garrity if i made these ones right these are jink jungle print and you need a piece of fake fur or fleece fabric for those the winter warmers are knitted these fresh blossom shoes are sewn it's a lot of embellishment on that crikey be there for ages the ankle tie now these ones are crocheted Okay, and next one are the stripy booties and these ones are knitted <laughs> teddy bears now these are ones are crocheted we've got colourful cupcakes and they are knitted And that is it for the patterns. Oh, which one of these did you like the most, gang? 
please tell me in the comments section down below even if you haven't got little ones coming which ones made you giggle which ones made you giggle okay now we're moving on to the techniques section so we have all the information on sewing techniques knitting techniques And then, of course, the uh, crochet techniques. Now, these techniques cover the tools, materials, other equipment that you would need, your tensioning, your gauge, and how to follow the patterns. So that's the same throughout each of the three different methods for making them today. Now, as you can see here, they've got a beautiful section here about baby shoe sizes. And then they have a, a printout section that I'm assuming you can lay your pieces of work over the top to make sure that they hit the desired um, width and depth for the shoe, or for the sole, I should say. Then we come on to the abbreviations for knitting, for crochet. And they've got information on knitting needles and crochet hooks in a UK metric and a US terminology. They have swapped the terminology around for us from UK to US so that covers those and the same with the yarn weights okay then we have a section all about the author her acknowledgements and of course the index so there we go that's this book so what do you think have you got a little one coming are there any patterns in here that you would like to make that you think would look cute on a baby in a pram or even i know your your grandchild's doll they could be used for those as well um thankfully i haven't got any children on grandchildren on the way yet i say thankfully i have got a, a ch uh, my eldest is now older than i was when i had her so every year is a plus <laughs> okay at the moment for not having a grandbabies um right so for me personally and this one i wouldn't be going on my bookshelf um because there are only a third of a, of the patterns in here i would be able to make um and of course i've got no grandbabies on the way so added bonus all right now that is it for me for today i would love to hear what you think about this book in the comments section down below and remember if this is a book you like if i've managed to find anywhere where this is available to you that those details will be placed in the description box down below if you are outside of the uk and you know where to get this book in your country please tell me in the comments section so i can pop that information over to the description box so everybody else in your country can go and grab a copy if they would like right that is it for me for today i will see you all really really soon so please remember stay chilled stay happy and keep crafting goodbye everybody